Alright, hello, hello everyone, welcome, welcome, welcome. How is everyone doing? Hope everyone's having a great night and or day, depending on what time it is for you. Hope everyone enjoyed their week and are looking forward to the weekend. Happy Saturday. If it's still Friday for you, then happy Friday. Um, tonight is Animu Weekend. Tonight we are going to be continuing more Akiba's Beat. Uh, currently I don't remember what we were doing because... Again, the last time we played this was last weekend, so kind of forgot what we were doing. So, yeah, hope everyone has some fun plans for the weekend. Fun, relaxing, fun and or relaxing plans with, uh, you know, by yourself, friends or family, whatnot. But just hope you guys had a, have a fun and relaxing weekend. So, let us see... What, uh, what we're doing. It says return home. So, I kind of forgot what, uh, what happened. The main things I remember happening was that, uh, we, we, I mean, we, we, we met Saki again. And she uh, joined the Freedom Fighters, which I had a really suspicion, a really big suspicion that she would. Because uh, we ran into Aoi, uh, what's her name, a Akari's twin sister, and she said that there was a, they had a, a welcoming party. For a new member, so I had a suspicion that that new member was Saki, and lo and behold, it was. Really lame. Man, I hardly even recognize this place. It's like I haven't been home in ages. Yeah. Aw, oh, cheer up, man. Okay, yeah, it's not gonna be that easy, is it? Nope. I miss her. We all do. Me too. I just can't figure out why she'd turn on us. Mm -hmm. There has to be some kind of mistake. That's just not Saki. You're saying you don't think she's actually with them? I feel like she... I don't know, she could have joined them to, like... Do something. Probably, it's probably, like, part of her plan. No, I think it's her all right. But I'm going to believe. Believe that she'll come back to us someday, even if she is a freedom fighter. Hmm. <laughs> Midnight and daytime. Morning, folks. Okay, so before we move on any further, um, if you guys didn't see my post on Discord or on Twitter, I posted up a new schedule that that was gonna start tonight. So, as always, tonight's I mean, you know, Saturday and Sunday is gonna be it's gonna be always uh, Akiba's beat. But uh, during the weekday, it's going to be different. So Monday is going to be for Alice, Manus Returns. Don't know how long that Monday is going to be for Alice because we're at, I believe we're almost done with that game. Um, Tuesday is going to be Tuesday and Thursday is going to be for Hellblade, Senua's Sacrifice. We're going to be playing that again now that I got a uh, game pass again Wednesdays are gonna be for division 2 and Friday will be our 
it's gonna be for our new just chatting stream and I don't know I I don't know I could change the name of the just chatting stream like the title of the, uh, the just chatting stream for now it's called on deck with the captain but I was thinking about s some other names but I don't know right now it's just gonna be that name but uh I will ask you guys on opinions if you got uh on other like you know titles of the of the of the Friday streams so when that day comes we'll we'll see what happens so yeah that's that's the new thing that's going to be starting well the coming weeks and onward Why is she here? You're late. As always. If you don't care about rescuing the freedom fighters, why would you care if he's late or not? Right. <laughs> well, unless we're just talking about Saki and not the other three. I don't care about rescuing the freedom fighters, but I've already told you what I do care about. Saki? Getting revenge on that pink cake man. Or him. <laughs> yeah, I think I will tell you. Tell us what? About the DAB. Dab. The agents who are searching for the pink cake man. Please do. They're the 14th Bureau at the Ministry of Health, Labor, and Ruling. The Delusory Administration Bureau. The DAB. Why do they? Why do they keep saying DAB? Why can't you just say dab? Come on, <laughs> the dab. I'll laugh every time they say that, but I don't know. It's just funny, the dab. But again, then again, this game came out way before dab, like dabbing became a thing. So, the Ministry of Health, Labor, at least I think it did. They're part of the government. I think it did. I don't know. Maybe a year before the dabbing became a thing. Correct. Machinery of the state that exists within the ministry and, as the name implies, administers delusions. Machinery of the state? Hmm. You can't be serious. Well, that sounds like a delusion all its own. Sure. Think of it as a delusion if it helps you cope. But be sure to factor in the repeating day and the new delusions that have been encroaching before your very eyes. That's true. Now, if I may continue. Naturally, the general populace has stayed blissfully unaware of the DAB's existence. Due in no small part to the highly specialized nature of their work. A bit over-specialized, if you ask me. When you say they administer delusions, do you mean they manage them? That's a good word for it, yes. They take delusions and manage them as national assets. You've seen it already, haven't you? The power that delusions hold to make the unreal become real. Only humans are permitted to wield that power. And we do. The reason mankind has been able to progress so rapidly is because we've harnessed the power of delusions. The bicycle, the car, the personal computer, those fancy music players, all have their roots in delusion. But this power isn't foolproof. It has its drawbacks. Some people are saved by delusions, and other people hurt by them. More or less, yes. Most people don't actually recognize a delusion when they see it. Which is why the Delusory Administration Bureau was formed to manage the delusions permeating the world around us. This is ridiculous. Then why haven't they shown themselves up until now? There's been an excess of delusions encroaching upon Akiba lately, hasn't there? They're looking for assets that they can manage for the state. So, if a delusion is too dangerous, they'll take it down. Even now. And all of this is just outside of the public eye. If a delusion causes no harm, then it's just not news. Hmm. 
Even if it causes the world to repeat? It's not as uncommon as you'd think. You just haven't noticed it happening before. The world's actually repeated itself quite a few times at this point. Really? Really? <laughs> the matter's simply been resolved in the background without your knowledge. This time, though, the situation's escalated enough to draw them out of the shadows and into the open. That situation being Delusion Contractor Cannon. <laughs> Believe it or not, delusers are a rare breed. Humans with strong delusion energy don't come along too often. But now we've got someone who can amplify the delusions of the common man. A subcontractor open for business. Meaning there's no cap on the spread of delusions. At which point, it would no longer even be possible to manage them. Forcing the DAB to show themselves in public. Hmm. In an effort to apprehend the delusion contractor cannon, of course. And why do you know all this? He was part of it. Or used to be part of it. I'm afraid that's the end of my story. What? You can't just end there. I think she he used to be part of it. I mean, he's wearing somewhat of a military uniform there. You've got people to rescue, don't you? In which case, you should find yourself getting awfully close to the truth. Meeting Kenneth. That's all well and good, but we don't even know where to look for them. They're very likely inside a delusion state, the rest of you are. Isn't there one near here we haven't hit yet? Well, there is the main delusion. Then I'd suggest we get going. Ah, damn it! Ray Ray doesn't mean to be rude, I assure you. Who even is he? Someday, I'm certain he will tell you. <laughs> It'll be okay, Ollie. We'll rescue both Akari and Sonny, for sure. Thank you. So she's gonna stay here and not fight with us? Oh, lame. That's a sub event. So sub event in here. Uh, might as well do it. Kanata Sautome sub event. Let's do it. Let's do the sub event before we continue on. Miss popularity. I'm sitting at the bar. Oh, what to do? What to do? Hey, Kana, does something up? You look stressed. Um, well, I... See, the thing is... Wow, no kidding? Getting headhunted by a maid cafe. Guess you can't take side jobs while working here, though, huh? No, side jobs aren't really an issue. And the hours don't conflict with my work here either. Then what's the problem? Well, I... Um... Kanata? Uh. Well, whatever it is, you clearly have your reasons. If you need to turn them down, just do what you gotta do. It's because she's not a girl. That's what I'm assuming anyway. She's not a girl. That's definitely a boy. That's I definitely a dude. The offer, but I don't know. Honestly, I'm not entirely sure which establishment it came from. And I'd like to know which cafe was scouting me. Or when time goes back to normal, you know? I see. In that case, how about we go do some detective work? Oh... Thank you. So, do you remember what kind of maid it was that approached you? Um, well, she kind of talked like a cat. Oh. Oh, that, that maid from the Cat Ear Cafe. 
talk like a cat? I know just the person. Come on, to the station. We're off to do us some neon dreaming. Yeah. Oh my god. Please don't do that ever again. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. By the way, guys, I'm sorry if I feel, if I seem I don't have a lot of energy and I seem tired. I kind of am tired. I woke up from a nap right before I started streaming, so kind of, kind of out of it. So, kind of tired. Gotta get, gotta get the grind on, right? Save here. What is it? You can tell me. No, I can't. I'm sorry. Oh, that's fine. I won't pry. Do you at least feel better now? More confident that you can turn her down next time? A actually, sorry, but that wasn't the only cafe to make me an offer. Wow, really? Hmm. You sly devil, you. <laughs> you sly devil, you. Guess you want to turn this other cafe down too, huh? Do you know where it is? I don't, but I do remember the person who showed up to scout me. She was a very energetic, very cute girl. Had a feeling. Long black hair. Nana. It's Nana. And did she exclaim, Na na na? I remember that. That was so funny. <laughs> that was so random, but it was so funny. Thought so. When she gets mad or startled, she tends to yell her own name. I think we'll find her on Main Street. <laughs> she tends to yell her own name. That's funny. Na na na. Uh, that's hilarious. All right. Let's see Main Street North area. Hey, let's go talk to Nana. A delusion scheme. We gonna go in? Well, if it isn't Master Asahi. Oh, thank God we're here. Aren't you? Good, good afternoon. You're that gorgeous girl I saw before. I'm so happy you've come. Na 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 na. <laughs> Have you thought about my offer? Will you work 
here with me? Oh, that's funny. No, 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 nailed it! Um, I... You see... I've uh, got a little shopping to take care of. I'll be back in a minute. Sorry to be a bother. Is something the matter? Yeah, here comes the explanation. Seriously? Yes, it's true. That's why I can't accept your offer. I'm sorry. That is totally fine. Mm. It's unfortunate you can't be part of the team, but we'll manage without you somehow. What? Was I going to be that important? Oh, no, no, it's all right, really. It's a shame I won't be able to work with you, but hey, hmm. you do you. You're rocking it. You do you. I really am sorry for any misunderstanding. All done shilling your secrets? Y yeah. Shill. And you sure you won't let me in on what they are? That's enough of that, Asahi. Secrets are an indispensable part of a maiden's attire. <laughs> anyway, I've got to get back to work. Good seeing you, though. So, does that about wrap things up? There's another one. There's actually one more place that tried to scout me. Moe's. The one that Moe works at. I figured. Quests always come in threes. Anything specific you remember? Thought about her specifically. I do remember she flagged me down on Junk Street. Well, that's a solid start. Let's go check out the area and see what we find. So, Junk Street, right? That's, um... Yoshino, right? I think that's Yoshino. She's always at Junk Street. Or is that the other... No, that's Moe's Cafe, right? I feel like it is Moe's Cafe. No, it could... No, I think it's Yoshino. I think. I don't know. Alright, whatever. This way, right? It is Yoshino. Hey, I, I think that's her over there. Oh. Or just a random girl then. Excuse me. I thought oh, it was Yoshino. Oh that lovely lass I reached out to. Yeah, I guess. My name is Kanata Saotome. Have you decided to come work in our humble cafe? Actually, I uh, think I left my oven light on. Make sure to ask exactly which cafe it is she's from, though. I will. Thank you. <laughs> I think I left my oven light on. What the heck? I You're see. this far from home, though? You do know our cafe doesn't mind that sort of thing, right? We've actually got a few folks just like you already in our employ. In fact, I dare say we'd be thrilled to have you. Um, but... Uh, oh, please, don't let me pressure you. The offer stands, but only if it's what you want. I'm sorry. I, I know you'd accept me as is, but still, it's just too embarrassing. I couldn't ask you to do anything you're uncomfortable with. Do let me know if you change your mind, though. So, did you get the name of the place? Nope. Yes. Oh. It's all sorted Never out. Mind. It was a cafe called Labyrinth of Passions. Hmm. Oh, I know that place. They're pretty well known for having some women there who dress as men, right? <laughs> 
something wrong? N no, I'm all right. Kanata? I'm sorry to keep so many secrets from you, Asahi. It's totally natural to have a thing or two you don't want to talk about. Everybody does. But you've been so nice to come along with me, and I feel like I really shouldn't be so closed off with you. If you want to tell me, I'm all ears. What's up with her? At least it's nice to know she thinks of me as a friend, I guess. Yeah. Ooh, gold ingot. Sweet. Sell that for some monies. All right. Miss popularity and finished Kanata's first sub event. Awesome. Do we have any other sub events around the area? Oh, we do. Got two. Got two in the area. Uh, I got an itch. Got an itch. Okay. Sorry. Alright. Let us do this one here in Junk Street. Who sub event is this? Reiji Shinomiya. So we're gonna do uh, Reiji's first sub event. That's cool. Let's do it. To build a PC. Well, would you look who it is? Shinomiya, you old so and so. <laughs> you old so and so. <laughs> Look who's talking. It's been ages, hasn't it? It certainly has. You doing okay for yourself, old man? <clears throat> Can't complain. You know this guy? Yeah. He helped me out here and there back in the day. Make sure to drop by every now and again. Be nice to see your ugly mug from time to time. <laughs> Asahi, I've got a few things I need to pick up. Come with me, will you? What kinds of things? I've been thinking of putting together a new computer. Good chance now that I'm back in Akihabara and all. Yeah, I suppose it is. Great. So lead the way. What? Me? Yeah. I don't know the town that well anymore, but you must be familiar with some good spots, right? Well, okay, I guess you got me there. Mongoku Electronics, maybe? There's one of them on the side streets. Alright. Onward to side streets. Yeah. selection here don't they this old place is still around Man. what you know it oh yeah it's been here forever it was popular even back in my day back in your day huh what was Akiba like way back then about the same as it is now not as many karaoke joints around maybe <laughs> go even further back just finding a place to eat was a pain in the ass. How far back are we talking? When I was a kid. You've been coming to Akiba since you were a kid? Yeah, from time to time. Reiji?
Hmm. Quite the haul, huh? You get everything you needed? Still a few parts short. A couple of things they didn't have that I'm still gonna need. Where else you got? Well, I guess we could take a peek in the old Sukumo building. You wanna check it out? Alright, Sukumo. Where is that at? Oh, it's right there. <laughs> So you know this place too, huh? You don't really even need me, do you? No, no, I do. Most of the stores around here have changed so much, I barely recognize the place anymore. Which stores? Well, all the convenience stores for one. Which are a lot easier to find an ATM than it used to be. Restaurants are pretty different too. It's like a bunch of little bistros now. Not super town at all. Akiba's a pretty convenient place, no matter what you're looking for. I get that, but it just doesn't fit the town's image. Either way, we should get going before the place closes. Come on. I would love to live in this town. All these computer parts stores, anime stores, May cafes. I haven't never been to one before. Uh, you know, all these restaurants and everything in one small town. This is my kind of place. <laughs> With all the, you know, delusion stuff. That should just about do it. Aside, you know, just... If there were any, you know, delusion stuff going on, yeah, I would stay, but... So you're ready to build yourself a PC now, huh? Nope, you still got one more. Not that big a deal. Or shouldn't be. No, I guess nobody builds their own damn PCs anymore these days. Hey, we still do. It does cost a lot of money. Yeah, but it's satisfying building something with your own two hands. Knowing how each and every piece fits together. It does. It is satisfying. Like, the computer that I have now, though it's old now, because I built it, like, almost three years ago. Like, it's just, it was just really satisfying to, uh, to build it together, put all the parts together. It's, it's, and it also, like, I don't know, it gets you exciting when every part comes in the mail and then once you get everything in the mail you like you just put it all together and then once everything works everything is fine and everything is running it's just that satisfaction that you you built something that that you wanted you know you built like for me I built I bought my computer all the parts for gaming so once everything is built and everything works and it's running smoothly, play all the games that you want, it's just really, really satisfying and really an awesome feeling. Which reminds me, there's one more thing I almost forgot I need. Let's head back to where we started. So where we started? So we're going back to Junk Street. Talk to this man. Hey, Ashina Mia, what you getting up to with all them bags there? I was thinking I could build a new PC. Actually, been some time since my last upgrade. Ah, uh, gotcha. And naturally, you're going DIY with it. Never were a pre-made kind of guy. <laughs> I know it's not the most convenient method of upgrading, but it gets the job done. Right. Anyway, got a question for you. Oh, and what might that be? Has she been coming by? She? Oh, you mean little Miss Tojo. She shows her face here and there, always looking for some part or another. She's looking for parts? Yeah, old stuff mostly. All flustered over something she couldn't get to work the way the original designer wanted. Is that right? Well, if you ever have any trouble with that new PC, give me a holler. I'm always happy to lend a hand where I can. 
<laughs> if you think you're up to it, thanks. I wonder what kind of part she's after. What's this now? Just something from my past. Your past isn't exactly a narrow range. How long ago are we talking? Oh yeah, I guess that's true. Hmm. <laughs> How old is he? One year, five years, ten years. It's all the same. How old, how old exactly is this guy? Cause from what from what we're like, you know, experiencing and from like, you know, conversations and such, from all the dialogue with this guy, they make this they make this guy sound like look and sound like he's I don't know, like really old. But he doesn't look old and I don't know I feel like he could be like in his late 20s or maybe early 30s or something but they make him sound like he's like in his 50s or 40s or something or 60s even fine forget I asked building your own computers though that's something you've been doing since you were a kid more or less. I'm actually really into it. I like it. Man. Can't wait. I really need to upgrade my my gaming PC sometime soon. I can't even imagine that. You of all people getting hyped about something. Almost scary to think about. Everybody gets hyped. It's in our nature. I get hyped. <laughs> so is there still something you're super into now? Maybe not in two so much as inside. Raging? Dog ear cap. Made of a soft material. So it's not too rough. Rough. All the puns, man. All the puns. And I love it. Alright, we finished Raging's first sub event. Awesome. Alright, there's another one in the area, so let's go to uh, Well we might as well walk there, right? Chapter f five, yeah. Chapter five, inspiration. Baby, baby, the wind it rages. Emerald man, cause he's green. Huh? I see. Fierce winds do make for good imagery. Uh, Mippity. Sing a song, babe, today for you. No one else here. These plains, my stage is. The fuck? Chase the wind, babe, in search of you. In search of you. Uh, getting kind of worried over here. You hit your head or something? Huh? Oh. Yeah, I'm getting a little confused Sorry. here. Hmm. In the zone? Chase the wind, babe. The fuck? Come again? Song lyrics. I'm trying to learn how to write evocative phrases and things like that so my fans can better sing along. So whenever I get a chance to soak up the knowledge and experience of others, I always try to take it. Ah, I see. Mm-hmm. Still, right now, I'm just a whole song, you need to really know your subject. Every interview with musicians I've read always says that they compose based on their own personal experience. Okay, 
In that case, how about we go and do a little living? Huh? <laughs> do a little living? You know, talk to interesting people, go places you don't usually go, stuff like that. Real life experiences. You mean you'll help me? Of course. Oh, heck yeah, of course. Is there some place you've always been dying to go see? Um, actually, yes. There's a place I've been curious about near the station's electric town exit, if that's okay. Okay. So it over there. Electric town. Pachinko. So are you ready? Let's go, go, go! No, I think we should stay, stay, stay away. What is this place? Huh? It's just, um, that you're a little young for this place. What is this place? Oh, really? Here I thought I'd be able to have all kinds of new experiences today. What is this place? It's the hooded dude. For how long, I wonder? For how long have I been enchanted by this silvery radiance? What are you babbling about now? The close of a long battle didst I at long last settle into the sweetest of slumbers. Brilliance extinguished. What? Ah, so you lost your balls then. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> what? You lost your balls. What? Thus do I depart upon a new journey that I may somehow reobtain the silvery radiance that was lost. Um I'm I'm really lost. I don't understand what the hell he said. Still gonna play? Even after all that? Is it a gambling area? Huh? Don't worry about it, Mippity. You're better off not knowing about this life. I don't know. Is it gambling? Is there someplace know. else you might want to go, though? I don't know. I'm confused. Hmm. It's all hell. Let's see. Oh, yeah! There's a store on the side street I'd really like to check out. Mm-hmm. Side tree we go then. You taking a safe break? Be careful you don't overwrite the wrong file. Yeah, let's save. You see an audio shop lead on. What's with these sketchy areas? Well, Asahi, this is the place. Huh? Max number one. No, next to it. Wait, you don't mean. I sure do. Right here, Asahi. The long story tavern out. Tavern? You want to go to a tavern? Isn't it? Actually, that kind of makes sense. We were talking about this before. Isn't that like a bar? My big brother always sits down in the evening with a beer and stuffs his face full of takawasa and shiokara and stuff. And after he let me try some once, I've been a big fan. I just can't get enough now. 
Hmm. Don't know if you want to actually go to a bar. Hey, well, wait a second. Hmm? What's wrong? The bamboo flounder here looks positively scrumptious. <laughs> I'm 14. You need to be 20 to get into a place like this, you know. Aww. Oh, oh, thank you much, me. Oh, it's him again. Are you following us or something? Oh my or gosh. Maybe we're following you. What? That most resplendent of silvery radiances have forcibly you humated even the undeserving tongue within mine own mouth. Ed, does that mean the Benito was good? <laughs> Come now, deeper into the universe. We fly upon this itinerant journey, whose end we can snare no. Well, you sure seems to, uh, have a lot of free time, doesn't he? Yep. <coughs> you can say that, yeah. So, Mippity, is there maybe some place a little more wholesome that you'd like to see? You know, some place with a really cute vibe to it, suitable for an idol singer like you? Hmm, a cute vibe, huh? Oh, I've got it. I know a place on Main Street I've been dying to check out. Let's go! Main Street? Street South area. Let's go there. Move a mercy? Seriously? Come on. I'm guessing this is like another adult place. What? It's Hav Merci. Any place that has Merci in the title has got to be cute and sophisticated, right? Uh. No. <laughs> Not entirely sure just what kind of store it is, though. I've been curious about it for the longest time now. Don't. Well, you're, you're not. <laughs> I don't think you're old enough to go in there because it doesn't seem like it is, you know, a kid friendly um, place. It's, uh. It says costumes on the window, so I guess it's a cosplay shop, huh? Um. Uh, must have some really lovely clothes. Um, <laughs> not the cosplay you're thinking of. Let's go in, Asahi. I'm pretty sure. No, no way, no how. Uh uh. No, siree, Bob. My reputation would be in shambles if anyone saw me in a place like this. Especially with a 14-year-old? Nah. <laughs> nah. Really? How odd. I thought you'd be really into it. <clears throat> what? Why? Well, because Yamato said you would. It went a little something like this. Oh, let's see what he said. Hmm. This place looks interesting. Place. Oh, Yamato, hi! This store here, words like merci are just really cute, don't you think? Oh, this place, huh? If you ever want to go inside, I think you should ask Tachibana to accompany you. Asahi, why? Because he's a big fan of this store. The biggest even. <laughs> this guy. I'm gonna moitily. Moitalate. <laughs> oh my goodness. Hey Asahi, thanks for coming along with me today. Mm, 
no problem at all. Though I wasn't really all that helpful, I guess. You don't think so? But we did so many different things together. Did we? I feel like we started to do a whole bunch of things, but they all just kind of fizzled out. Well, my lyric writing inspiration a meter has gone through the roof, and it's all thanks to you. <laughs> lyric writing inspiration o meter. Really? You bet. I'm all used up. What kind of lyrics are you thinking? Um, well, let's see. Off the top of my head. Oh, the light of silver flows through my hands, and my tummy's all full, so it screams. What? I'm sad, but it's a lot like happy hands, and this tragedy may all be a dream. But if it is, then it's a dream made of silly stuff, and alas, things are starting to get really rough. So I cast my eyes up to the skies, in the wind, oh how it teems, and giggles! <laughs> Something like that. That's, that's interesting. I feel personally responsible for this. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> huh? Velour headband. Something's very wrong here, and yet a little bit right. What's that supposed to mean? Hmm. All right, we're done with chapter five of reuse sub event. Awesome. Any other sub events going on? Let's see if we switch out Pink Coon. Okay, how about Kanata? Does Kanata have a sub event going on? Anything? Nope. Okay. Okay, how about Yoshino? Does she have a sub effect going on? Oh, she does. Uh, where are we? Okay, let's, let's head down to Main Street South area. Oops. Main Street South area. Playing my PS4. <laughs> All right. Um, this way, right? Yep. All right. Trading cards are for more than just trading. You'd be surprised. Katomi Sonata. All right. I think this is chapter three or chapter two? No, it's chapter four. Well, well then. Speaking proper, like this should be interesting. This just thoughts of all. <laughs> what is that? Personally, I like it. Because <laughs> it feels <laughs> very Akiba to me. But they throw around the word master like it doesn't mean anything. Show some dignity, girls. Show some reverence. Well, they're maids, I guess. That's that's their culture, right? You want them to stop calling out to people on the street? No, it's not that. I just hate the whole I want to be a maid because they're cute mindset. That's not a true maid. Okay, how do you think they should act then to make their maiddom more authentic? Hmm. Well, for starters, they need to convey a lot more love and adulation when addressing their masters. Interesting. Can you give me an example? Uh, okay. This ought to be good. Wait, you're just trying to get me to say something embarrassing, aren't you? 
Heaven forfend. I'm just keeping the conversation flowing. Heaven forfend. <laughs> you are incorrigible. You are just like those maids. I want to be a neat because I don't have to work. Hey, I'm a neat because I like it. Exactly. You're a bandwagoner. You think it's counterculture and cool to be a neat. No thought went into it. Uh, whatever you say, Co. You know, though, while we're on the subject, don't you think your own way of speaking could use some adjustment? Yeah. Definitely. Not at all. But you're a distinguished daughter of the Sonata family, right? So shouldn't you speak more like a proper lady? Ugh, no. That's exactly what someone wanting to be like all the other distinguished daughters would do. Okay, so explain to me how your current mannerisms are an appropriate alternative then. <laughs> I don't have <laughs> to, because there's no problem with the way I am. Hey. At least try out a couple different speech styles. Couldn't hurt, right? How about you dingus? <laughs> so basically, talk like Pink Coon. Uncouth and idiotic. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speak of the devil. Ouch. Sorry, Pink Coon. I'm serious, Pink Coon. Why do you always say yeah! and dingus and all that? It makes you sound like a damned fool. <laughs> Uh, this, is, this is funny. Come on, that's just the way I talk. It's pink good style, baby. Pink good style. Really? That's all there is to it? I always just thought you were trying to sound cute. Opa, pink and style. <laughs> yeah. All right, I have a new quest for us, Co. A challenge, if you will. We're going to talk to a bunch of different people and see if we can't find a new speech style that suits you better. But why? I'm me, and me suits me just fine. Oh, this just sounds like a waste of effort. Oh, I can think of at least one good reason. Which is? How about so you stop driving metaphorical daggers into my heart with every word you say to me? Would you prefer real ones? Look, I'm officially filing this as a quest, so let's just do it. Let's get out there and listen to people talk. Oh no, you are not getting the last word on me. Hmm. <laughs> Alright, where are we? Where are we heading to? Oh. Electric Town, it seems. Oh, this will have. Up there, so we're close to Electric Town, so we go to Electric Town, and then we go to Main Street, North Area. When saving, do be careful not to override a sibling's data. Okay. Oh, we're gonna ask her to talk like. Like the cat girl. Get your kibbles on at Nyan Dreamin, the cat girl May Cafe. Open today, now! Hmm, yes, yes, quite nice. What the heck are you, yes, yesing about? <laughs> Why not try a little chat chat, Co? Hey, wait up! <laughs> Just really. <laughs> walks off. Wait up! After asking me to mew like a kitten? Do you even hear yourself? Alright, alright, I get it. But I mean, just give it one shot. Just one sentence. I'll never ask you to do it again after that. Hey! <laughs> Ho! Yo! Yarn window shoppers! Try stopping in if you're gonna pause in front of my establishment! Yeah. Pause. Haha. <laughs> Alright. Guess our only other area is. Oh. Just one more. Alright. Main Street North area. Saving. Do be careful. 
careful not to override a sibling's data. Is the nature of the universe from creation for perpetuity? Darkness dwells. Oh, of course, you're into darkness, right? This is perfect. This is perfect. What dost thou seek in the darkened depths? A warm rest, a cool awakening. More like the opposite a warm awakening and some cool sleep. Uh, what? I mean, it's been so cold and bitter in the mornings, right? Yet by the time night falls, it's sweltering. I thought it gets colder at night. What the heck? If that be thy response, then for both shalt I wish upon the stars above. Oh, please do. I'd appreciate it. She hasn't even noticed his speech style. She's just having a normal conversation with him. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Set everything so we can move. Move on to Nana. A delusion scape. Shall we enter? Hey, how's it going? Well, if it isn't Master Asagi, something I can help you with? Oh, no, we're just here on a quest of sorts. I'm trying to introduce Katomi here to some new speech styles. <laughs> so, Ko, when Nana here gets startled, she... Uh... She's real, I swear she is. She walked off. I guess she up and left you, huh? Hey, Ko! Jeez, Ko, hold your horses. Seriously, why not try talking like Nana? It's subtle, easy to adapt to. No, 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 not on your life. I'll kill you. Yeah, she just did it though. <laughs> huh. Hmm. <sighs> it's hopeless. Blunt and mean is all you know. Yep. I told you right from the start, every other speech style is the worst. Particularly that pervy pink pot. Yeah. Are styles like that supposed to add character or something? It's stupid. It just attaches you to an archetype. I don't know. I feel like your style of speech pretty well attaches you to an archetype too. Archetype. Hmm. <laughs> I beg to differ. But either way, if not for archetype classification, then why do you talk the way you do? I mean, it's probably the way that she was raised. I don't know. I've never thought about it. Not even once. The mistress can't help but speak the way she does. It's simply who she is. Yoshino? Hey, Yoshino. Quick question. Has Ko always been like this? She has indeed. Do you think maybe, just maybe, it's because you've been spoiling- Asahi? You wouldn't by any chance be complaining about me to my maid, would you? Hmm. Oh, no. Perish the thought. Oh, my. Jeez, Yoshino, don't laugh. My apologies. It's just that- as I said, the mistress is who she is, and this exchange between you two only proves it. Hmm. What do you mean? Allow your mind to wander for a moment. Imagine what it would be like if... Well... Oh, whoops. Master, I am at your beck and call. Whatever you wish, it will be my command. <laughs> no, no, I don't like this. I don't like this. Nope. <laughs> I am Master Katomi, the cold hearted poisonous doll, unequaled in this world, and you are a dingus! 
Nope. 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 Maybe, but no. 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 N now that you mention it, those are all simply terrible ideas. Yeah. Oh my, yes. You finally understand. What the heck are you two talking about? Sorry about all this, Bo. Oh, I was boy. about to try and change you. You're fine just the way you are. Just the way you huh? are. Another velour headband. Awesome. Okay, we finished chapter four of Kotomi Sub Event. Awesome. Alright. Any others? Okay. Let's switch. See, does Moe have any? Doesn't seem like it. All right. Let's. Yoshina. Alright, I think that's all of the sub events. So now we can carry on to the main story, which is on Side Street. What's saving? Do be careful not to override a sibling's data. Delusion. A delusion. Huh. No DAB agents this time. Now what's going on? Better not look a gift horse in the mouth. Let's get in there while we have the chance. Don't let your guard down, Yamato. We've got to be very careful here. Side, right? Let's see what this place is like. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? Come on. There we go. An enemy has been spotted. How 
Onward. There are four enemies, but the advantage is ours. Come and get Two adversaries, a master and servant, I'll perhaps. Blow you away. I 
So that gold ingot we got. Shall we open it? Save here first. This store simply has too varied a stuff. Doesn't seem like anyone's here. Oh. Oh shit. Gib, thank you for that raid. How was your stream? Welcome everyone from Gib's stream. How is everyone doing? How was your stream, Gib? Hope you had some fun with a uh, more Uncharted. Wait. Was really wait. good. Awesome, awesome. Good to hear. You beat Uncharted too. Awesome. So you're gonna move on to the third game. Uncharted 3? Oh, you're on it right now, okay. Is, uh, the fourth game part of PS Now? Or is it not? Oh. Mate the Gamer, hello! Welcome to the stream! How are you? It is not? Are you gonna Correct. get the fourth Drugs game? Whereabouts are still unknown. DAB agent. DAB agent. <laughs> Who's he talking to? Yes, awesome. It's great to hear that you. I'm going to do all of them. Awesome. That's cool. That's cool. One punch is back. Have you watched it? I'm good. I'm animating currently. Ooh, what are you animating? Uh, and I have not watched One Punch Man. The two I hear it's a really good anime, but I have, I have yet to watch it. Don't know if it's an anime I'd be interested in watching. I don't know. I don't know yet, though. I'll probably like give it a try one day. But yeah, I, I did know that uh, season two started. What's up? How are things on your end? What's up, Gib? You haven't seen One Punch Man? Nope, I have not. <laughs> there, I'm telling you, man. I'm, I've been telling you. I've said this many times. There are a lot of, like, there are a lot of popular or even classic, you know, like animes, TV shows, movies that I haven't seen. I'm telling you, man. I, I trigger a lot of people by saying these things. I know I've triggered you a lot. Oh no. The fuck? One Punch Man is like a satire of anime. I mean, it looks it looks interesting like from what I've seen, you know, like clips and memes and whatnot. Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit. Red Fox, thank you for that raid. Hello, hello everyone. <laughs> Wow. Welcome. Red Fox, how was the rest of your stream? Slushy, welcome. Hello, hello, everyone. And after that, go watch Samurai Champ. <laughs> You'll never... I'll never hear the end of it, man. Who is he talking to? It was anime of the year 2015 and season 2 came out now. Yeah, I, 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 
I know I knew about the season about season two uh started I think yesterday? Was it yesterday? I don't know. But yeah. Now just <laughs> go watch Cowboy Bebop. <laughs> We'll see. We will see. Sounds like two agents exchanging reports to me. Ah, fuck it, Skip. <laughs> Red Fox, how was your stream? How was the rest of? Were you still playing a uh, Human Fall Flat? I wasn't. I wasn't sure if you switched games or not. Uh, and after Cowboy Bebop, watch Gurren Laga. <laughs> Gurren Lagan. I thought it was pronounced. I don't know how to pronounce the anime. I heard that anime is popular. I know that anime is popular as well. Uh, by the way, Red Fox, thank you for that follow. I appreciate it. Welcome to the crew. Now we kicked over to Gang Beast. Oh, okay. Well, it's basically the same thing, isn't it? Gang Beast is kind of like Human Fall Flat. It's like it has the, you know, that physics type gameplay. I don't, I don't think they're made by the same people, but it's pretty much the same thing. Except you're going, you know, playing against each other, not, you know, in a co-op type situation. <clears throat> Excuse me. So no luck in the electronics one either? Very well. Only one place left for us to search. By the way, guys, uh, if you are new to my channel, I am currently playing Akiba's Beat. This game is a, a PS4 exclusive. It's a anime action RPG type of game. Understood. We'll meet up after. Until then. Where uh the combat of this game takes place in these dungeon like areas called delusion scapes. Uh where we fight like, you know, random monsters and then we go deeper into these uh, dungeons and we end up, you know, fighting a boss type monster just like in any other dungeon, I don't know, dungeon-like game, I don't know, but yeah. Uh, bring that Ragdoll fighter pretty much, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've seen, I've seen people play That's Gang Beasts. I've been interested in getting that game also, but yeah. Didn't know a lot of people that play it. So we went to the May Cafe for nothing really. What a waste of time. But it's for story, right? It's for story. Those agents are definitely on the lookout for Saki and Akari. Mm hmm. And Cannon, of course. It sounds like they've already searched the electronics delusion, too. So, the reason they blockaded all the delusion scapes was to keep Cannon from escaping into them, then? Then why wouldn't they have noticed that we were in there? Could somebody have snuck us in there while they were searching? Maybe they forgot to seal off the entrances. Hmm. I'm not so sure that's it. Maybe, I think probably the ones that were inside the delusion were the ones that were supposed to guard the outside. Oh. I don't know. The DAB isn't that inconsistent. Dab. I'd say we don't have enough to go on to really make any worthwhile guesses just yet. Where else do we have to go? Um, did we try the Chuny one? Let's see. We haven't gone into the audio delusion yet, have or th we? Or that one, yeah. We have not. Let's go fix that. All right, let's go see the audio delusion, the very first one oh, we've been to. Point. Shall we take a break? Uh, that would be in Station Plaza. Now, how was how was uh Gang Bee's slushy? Hope you guys had some chaotic fun tossing each other around and dragging each other around eliminating each other <laughs> oh, a save point. Shall we take a break? It was cool awesome no agents here either huh we gotta we gotta play human fall flat one day 
Me, me and Ataki were playing earlier. They've called off their lookouts. On Xbox. Count on at least one being in sight, though. You think they're in there? They could be. You need to use the restroom before we head in. Be my guest. Hmm. <laughs> Sorry. You're trembling with fear on the inside right now, aren't you? Practically about to wet yourself. <laughs> what? No, of course I'm not. Do I look like I'm shaking? I can take on those DAB agents with one hand behind my back if I have to. All by myself. Yep. Maybe you don't tease the hothead like that. Right. Yeah, I so saw she texted me earlier about playing it, but I was like, oh, now you want to play? <laughs> I see, I see. Yeah, well, I mean, next time, there's always next time. I mean, there's always tomorrow, there's always every any other day. I'm, I'm down to play any other day. Good now, myself. He's just an annoying little mosquito. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. Alright, let's head inside. Audio delusion. Oh, a save point. Shall we take a break? So the enemies here are very weak because this is the very first uh, delusion escape we've been to since we started the game. So we've been progressed so much so far. So we're doing like one hit kills to every enemy in here. It's an enemy. Please. Two adversaries, a master and servant, perhaps. Oh, that one got me from behind. There we go. Okay. If you're to go moving on. Moving on up. An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle this encounter? Okay. It's an enemy. Oh, this way. Please exercise caution. This way. It's an enemy. Please exercise. Only two enemies? This should be a quick and no easy problem. Okay. An enemy. Not so fast. Three enemies. This could prove a worthy practice An enemy has been spotted. How shall we handle the Only two kills. This should be little challenge. One go dispatched by Master Sonic. If you're to go through this door, please be certain you're ready. We'll get the save, of course, before we head in there. When saving, do be careful. Uh oh. Who the heck is. Wait, who is that? Someone in there with an actual weapon. Who'd that be? Take him out. Relax. Hold up, Shorty. What'd you call me? Doesn't matter what I called you. Got you to stop, didn't it? That's no ordinary agent. Huh? 
Did you hear a voice just now? Who the fuck is this guy? A uh, voice, sir? No. Afraid I didn't. Must be hearing things. This guy seems serious. Anyway, still no leads on cannon? I, I, I'm afraid not. We've mobilized in an effort to search more effectively, but we haven't had any luck yet. If we don't get the guy soon, we'll have a real nasty mess on our hands. Hmm. I'm quite aware, sir. <sighs> Somebody hurry up and find the bastard. We need him locked down. Well, why does this guy have this crazy look on his face? The fuck? Well, one thing's for sure. They're definitely not Saki or Akari. No, they're not. Ugh, this is a bust. What are they doing here? Do you know that guy? We need to get out of here. Now. Don't let them see you. Don't make a sound. Run! <laughs> Okay, so the other delusion that we haven't been to yet, I think we've been, yeah, I think we have been to uh, the Chuni one, because that's where we got Yamato. Uh, so I don't know what other delusions we haven't been to yet. Oh, the electronic one? I guess? I think? Kasuga Yuki, acting manager of the research and development office at the DAD was anyway. Kasuka Yuki. Was. No idea what he's doing now. But one thing's for sure. He's just as much a snake now as he ever was. We can be certain of that much. And then they're gonna ask why do you or how does he know him? And I'm still assuming that this guy is part of a or he was in uh he was part of the DAB. I must sleep. I lay down. All right, Gib, you get that sleep on. You rest well. You have a great night. You have a good day tomorrow. Thank you again for that raid. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you later. I take it you know each other. No shit. <laughs> I'm sorry to say, we do. He's the youngest person ever to join the bureau. Can't say if it's true, but rumor has it he started at age nine. H9, holy crap. Seriously? Who'd send a kid to fight delusions like that? Oh. Mm -hmm. I wouldn't put it past them. Seems awfully plausible. So what you're saying is these aren't people to be trifled with. Guess we can't afford to waste any more time. Nope. The only place we haven't checked is the Freedom Fighters hideout, isn't it? I already took care of that. So, there's no place left to look. We're out of options, then. Maybe not. Huh? We've still got to search Akiba itself, like we've done over and over on our search for the losers. That's your plan? We'll find Saki using the very technique she beat into our heads. That's right, I'm talking legwork. Here we go. <laughs> we'll save Akari with legwork, too, of course. I like this plan. I don't have any opinion. I hate it. <laughs> well, tough, because it's our only plan. Come on, everybody. Hop to it. <laughs> you guys don't know when to say when, do you? Nah. We youngins have, have that energy. <laughs> All right, I think that's okay. So we're going across the street, basically. Whoa. That's a delusion. That's a delusion scape right there. What? Let's save before we head over there. When saving, do be careful not to override a sibling's data. Okay. 
Hmm, a new delusion scape, it seems. Search Akihabara for Saki and Nokari. Well. Got a new delusion scape here. Yep. I feel like I've seen this color scheme somewhere before. Have you now? Cannon. Oh yeah, it's pink. Hmm. Seems pretty fairy tale esque. Whoever it belongs to has awful taste. I can tell you that much. Hmm. You think Saki and Akari are in there? Could be a possibility. Well. There is an entrance all nicely set up. Saves us the trouble of tracking down its deluser. This doesn't strike any of you as suspect. No. Hmm? It's a Kenny. Asahi, guess what? A new delusion has been found in Akihabara. Well, we just found it. We know. We're standing in front of it right now, in fact. Where else would I be? On Main Street beneath the overpass. Isn't that where you're talking about? I'm assuming she's gonna say no. Actually, no. The one I found is over on Junk Street. Oh, we got two. Two new delusion scapes. There's one on Junk Street, too? Oh, come on. As best as I can tell, it's fairy tale themed. Like a child's bedroom. Hmm. Interesting. Thanks for the tip. We'll be right over to check it out. Did I hear you say Junk Street? Yep. Yep. New delusion over there too. What? Good call on wanting to check it out. Let's move. Okay. Off to Junk Street. <laughs> Under big, welcome to the stream. How are you? Shall we take a break? I know that voice actor. Of course you do. <laughs> you VA knowledge person, you. <laughs> oh, look at this place. I'm doing good. I am doing good. We are continuing more Akiba's Beat tonight, as you can tell. And also, it's even got an entrance ready in also, um, also underbaked. Look what came in the mail today. I'll give you a hint. We can't recognize what that card is. <laughs> How could the same delusion show up in two different places? Let's hope it's just two. Yeah. The uh, the monarch deck came in today. I'm excited. I <laughs> don't know what this card is. It's the um, it's it's either the heavenly monarch. Are you saying there have been delusions with two entrances before? Are you saying this? Really? I'm also saying it wouldn't be unheard of for a third entrance to pop up. So, one delusion with many entrances. That's interesting. I didn't know that. So what? No matter how many pop up, we'll just search them all. Oh shit, we gotta play Yugi Man sometime. Yeah, of course. Um... That's through... You play through, uh... Legacy of the Duelist, right? I don't have a lot of cards in that game. I said it isn't unheard of, but that doesn't mean it's not strange. Like, I need to... I wanna, like... 
I need to get a lot of cards in that game so I can make my actual decks in that game. But yeah, being being how that you can only buy, you know, buy packs and it, it gives you random cards. It's, it's gonna be difficult, you know. I bought a few cards last week, so maybe I can update my gravekeeper. It's awesome. I still need to buy. First thing we should do is find out just how many doors there are. I still need to buy two more copies of the Monarch Structure deck so I can um, rebuild this one into a better deck. Then I'll be ready to use it. As of right now, I only have it's only just the uh, that one single Emperor of Darkness Structure deck. But yeah, now, I don't play Legacy. I would say use Yu. -Gi oh, okay. Okay, I, I have, um, yeah, I use uh, YGO Pro too. Uh, funny, funny, funny thing you use, bring up that. Uh, one of my uh, RL friends told me about it that I still play Yu Gi Oh! with. They told me about um, that program that you, you know, you can like build your own, like, you can actually build your actual decks in, um, in that game and then you can play against anyone or play against uh you know like characters from the shows or even like test out your test test out your your decks against uh bots and stuff like that i do i found three of these zombie structure decks at target awesome did you get them <laughs> Cause don't don't make a, mi a mistake like I did when I saw the Emperor of Darkness at at Target on clearance for like eight dollars, and I didn't get it, and I went back to the same Target like not too long ago, and of course it was gone. But I would expect it would be, and I went to like other Targets to see and like other Targets and and Game Stops too to see if they had a Emperor of Darkness structure decks. In, in in stock but they don't but yeah they don't so I have to find these online and the prices of this deck increased a lot well not a lot but you know you know how like decks structure decks come out and they cost ten dollars well I mean on Amazon it's like fourteen fifteen dollars and on eBay it's like sixteen dollars so they went up quite a bit I second that Come on. No, because I'm broke as fuck. It's all good. My the zombie horde structure deck I have is uh it's basically made out of three three of the three copies of the deck. And I'm still I'm still learning how to use that zombie horde deck too. Still not good with it, but I'm still learning. Alright, so where are we going? 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 Oh, we're going to Station Plaza. Okay, cool. Station Plaza. Wait. Um, Underbake. I know there are like many. I know there are many different kinds of Yu Gi Oh! Pro uh, software or programs. Does it matter? Does it? Do you know if it matters which like, if it matters wh whichever we use and we'll still play, we'll still be able to play against each other? Fuck being broke. First world problems, man. Yeah, yeah. I got you, man. I'm broke too. <laughs> I am broke as well. I still need to like, again, like I said, I still need to buy two more copies of the Monarch Structure deck so I can rebuild. Rebuilt this deck. How many more of the same stupid delusion are we gonna find? Who knows? Maybe there's an infinite number of them out there. Don't even joke about that. <laughs> Saki and Akari could be inside any one of them. It does matter because we can't play across programs. Well, okay, well, if it's the same program. But you can still play uh, across like different devices, right? Since you, you have it on your phone, right? I have the program on my computer. As long as it's the same program, you know, the same Yu-Gi-Oh Pro, 
we can still play against each other, right? Or no? Hello? I've gathered info from my sources throughout Akiva. It seems this delusion appears in three locations. So there's a third door. That's a relief. Thanks. According to Akemi, there are only three entrances, no more. For now, anyway. I still need to get a uh, Yu-Gi-Oh Pro on my phone. And this seems too. like as good a place as any to start our search. Cool that head of yours, punk. Checking each one individually would take a long time. Punk. I don't know if it works like that actually, but I've never tried. That would be so cool though. Oh, uh, so which one do you do you have? I know there are different like different kinds of Yu-Gi-Oh Pro uh, programs, but uh, which one do you have? I'll probably download that one on on my phone as well, so we can maybe play against each other. I told you to stop calling me punk. Unless you unless you're getting a PC pretty soon, and then you get you get it on PC. I see it. Our best bet is to split up into three groups and search them all at once. And then we can stream, stream, uh, <laughs> stream ourselves dueling each other. That would be fun, wouldn't it? <laughs> huh? But Cannon could be inside any one of them. All the more reason to hustle. You think we have the luxury of searching every inch of them one by one? Nope. That's not what I meant. Gear Pro. Updating it is a pain. How so? Do you have to like uninstall it and then reinstall a new version? I'm okay with this. Because if that's the way, then yeah, that is a pain. Then you can take the delusion on Junk Street. Take the bunny with you. Take the bunny with you. But bunny? Are you talking about Pinko? Short round, you're with me. If I leave you by yourself, there's no telling what you'll end up doing. <laughs> Are you talking about uh Yamato? What? Why the hell do I have to pair up with you? Uh I say wait till I get my PC so much easier. Okay. Well I was gonna I was gonna download it on my phone anyway, so I can, you know, play while I'm on the go also. You know, while I'm not at home and stuff like that, but yeah. Now I have to take the zip file and add them to the game files, but it's hard to do it on a phone. Well, that sucks. That's interesting. Wait, are you using an Android phone or an iPhone? Wait, doesn't that mean... You're fine by yourself, aren't you? You can take this delusion. Excuse me? If something happens, just run. You know Akiba well enough to get away, right? That's your reasoning here? <laughs> Me and the punk will take Main Street. Everybody's found their buddy. No complaints. I've got one. Me too. I'm a little worried myself. Android all the way, baby. <laughs> uh, cool. I got an Android too. <laughs> Hello. Do you find being paired with me unsatisfying? That's not it. That's not what I mean at all. I mean, I have used an iPhone once before, but that was like a long time ago. I mean, that was like back when I think iPhone 4 was the newest one. iPhone 4 to 4S or 5. I don't know, but yeah. That was the only iPhone I've ever used. Other than that, I've been I've been an Android user. Good. At least we're all on the same page here. Just be sure to keep your wits about you. For a sign of trouble, I want you to run. Taint it. You must be cleansed. <laughs> hey, man. It's only one time. It was only one time. That was a long time ago. And after that, I've been, been an Android user the whole time now. See? Android. <laughs> this plan is the first sign of trouble. Just don't do anything stupid. Now, break. 
One time it was all it takes. Hey, I I never went back. I never went back. I've always I the only reason why I wanted to get an iPhone back then was to try, you know, see you know, to see how it, how it is, you know. I mean, I did enjoy using it to an extent, but then after that I'm like, nah, this phone is just not for me, so I just went back to Android. I've I like Android more better than iPhone, so Yeah. What are you so afraid of? Well, I mean, what if Ken is just right inside there? I could be attacked like before, maybe even abducted again. That only happened because you were unprepared. You won't lose to that wimp again, though. I won't let you. I won't let you. Yeah. I want to upgrade my phone. I have the 7S Edge. Oh. I mean, is it is there any issues with it? <laughs> and if you are if you are planning to get an up if I mean, yeah, if you were to upgrade, what phone were you thinking of getting? Oh, you're so brave. For me, I right now I have the Moto G six, which is a pretty cheap phone, but it's a pretty good phone. Like it it's it's a it's a it gets the job done, but um I would like to get the either the Pixel three or Pixel three XL to be specific, um, or the OnePlus six T. But I'm pretty sure they're coming out with a Pixel four and a OnePlus seven soon. So, you know, phone companies always come out with f new phones every year. Well, I don't know if I'd say brave. Charging is a pain in the ass. It takes forever. Really? That's that's weird. What? What is it now? Does the S7 Edge? The S7 Edge still uses micro USB, right? It doesn't use USB C. I believe. If I upgrade, it would be the S9 or um or something. <laughs> I think the the newest the newest uh Samsung phone is the S10 the S10 line, and I gotta say the S10 phones look really cool, they look pretty beautiful, I should say, like the phone looks really nice. I've used I've used a a Samsung phone well actually two Samsung phones before, uh the first phone I've the first Samsung phone I've ever used was the S4, and that was, a, again, a long time ago. I think, um, yeah, it was like af right after I used the iPhone 4S for, I think, the year or two that I had it. I, I went, when I went back to Android, I went to the Samsung Galaxy S4, and then after that, I used a cheaper Samsung phone. I think it was called the uh uh what was it called? Grand Prime, I think. And then and then after that, I got the Nexus 6P, but then I had to switch phones from the 6P because uh the 6P's battery has been messed up. It dies. Like it would die even when the battery is like at seventy percent. Like it would just automatically shut off. And it's just it was just too much of a pain to use. So I had to switch to this phone, which is the Moto G six. This is like another like cheap phone, but it does. Like I said, it does. It gets the job done. You use micro USB as far as I know. Okay. Weird on me. <laughs> also getting all weird on me. Well, you know, this is the first time the two of us have ever worked alone together, right? To be honest, I'm still a little nervous. 
There's no need for concern. I mean, we're hmm? friends. Nothing. Let's go. She was about to say friends. She didn't want to admit it. <laughs> Did you try buying a new battery? Um, I don't know. Well, I was I was actually thinking about getting it repaired, but I don't I don't know. I feel like it wouldn't it would solve the problem for like the time being. But then again, it's not a popular phone that people, you know, people use. Cause you know, like Android. When it comes to Android phones. The most popular phone is Samsung and uh, I think Motorola phones. When you use, when you hear people that use Nexus, Nexus 6P, especially when the Nexus line has died off like for like I don't know three or four years now. So the Nexus 6P was the last phone of the Nexus line. So it's not one of those popular, it's not a popular phone anymore, or even if it was popular or when it first came out back then. It's not a, that much of a well-known phone. So not a lot of era, not a lot of places that repair phones have batteries for those phones, for that phone. Um, and I don't trust myself to repair the phone myself. Because I feel like if I freaking make any type of mistake, I'll just break the phone entirely. And that would just mm, not be good. <laughs> but yeah, I just, I just gave, I just, you know, I just stopped using it and just ended up buying a new phone. Oh, does that mean you admit it did? That only means I never thought it would happen. Don't twist my word. Don't twist my words. I think the walls between us have been thoroughly and utterly smashed. The last one I had ended up getting blue screen. What? That sucks. Fun, fun fact though, I've never broke a phone to a point where it's not um, unusable. Like I've dropped him, I've dropped them before, but I've never like you know damaged a phone to a point where it's unusable. Like all the phones that I've used in the past were pretty much in good condition, and there's if I use if I still use them today, they'll be still usable, except for the Nexus six Nexus uh six P. The battery problem that it has right now is not my fault. It's actually an issue that all Nexus 6P phones have. Like actually Google Google has like some like uh, some like court case about it. Like I think um I read an article saying something about like if anyone has a a faulty Nexus 6P phone, you can actually file a claim and you might get like $400 back or something like that. Yeah, some, some phones are durable. Like I've never cracked the screen of any of my phones either. Never cracked a single screen of any of my phones. I've dropped some of my phones, but none of the screens have ever cracked. I've always been careful with all my, uh, my devices. What? You can't see this wall? This invisible but extremely thick wall? Follow the claim. About eight meters thick. Eh, I don't know. Oh, we've got a super heavy wall protecting us? That's great! <laughs> That's great. Come on. We'll see, though. I'll think about it, honestly. Like I've I've been actually thinking about it thinking about it after I saw that uh that article. <laughs> yeah. All right, where are we going? Oh, we're controlling. Uh, what's her face? We're controlling. 
Uh, Ryu. Interesting. This is our first time controlling a different character since the whole team split up. Hmm. Actually, can we switch? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna use uh, what's her face? We're gonna use Katomi because Ryu is our healer. All right, let's save before we head inside. It's a safe point. Shall we make use of it before moving on? You know, I find it hard to. Uh, speaking of phones, I find it really difficult to just buy like you know the newer phones the nowadays because you know phones phones Please nowadays cost like almost a thousand dollars, if not more than a thousand dollars. Um, Apple. <laughs> oh my gosh. But yeah, like the phone that I mentioned before, uh. Of it before moving on. Ooh, this is pretty. The phone that I mentioned before, uh, the OnePlus 6T, has like specs of like a high end phone, but a price of like a mid range phone. It costs like $600, $500, which is not bad for the price, I mean, for the specs that the phone has. So, yeah. You think so? It's not really my thing. Poco. I sure hope we find Saki and Akari in here, though. I can't say I care if we do or don't. Are you still holding your grudge against Saki? I'd rather not engage in idle chatter right now. Let's just keep our eyes out for the man in the pink cape. All right, we shall. First one I had, though, was an S3. Out of the box, it was trash. It was damaged internally by water, and I would constantly have to charge it. A lot of the new phones cost an arm and a leg, right? It's by the older model, yeah. That's what I did. Actually, that's what I did when I, um... When I used the, when I was using the Galaxy S4, the S5 was already out at that time. Um, but I decided to get the S4 because there were just things on the S5 that I didn't really need. Like at the point, I mean at the at the time, the S5 had the, you know, the fingerprint scanner. I just didn't really care about it, and I just you know I just kept, just decided to get the S4 instead the of the S5. Yeah, and it was cheaper since it was an older model. But yeah, I've, I've used the S4 for like over two years, I think. But yeah, the S4 was a good phone when I used it. Okay, where am I going here? Oh, wait, do I pull this? I do. Why did that close? This place is quite strange. Come back. like using this girl. Die 
Character is so difficult to use. It's taking forever to kill these guys. Son of a bitch. I'll look at you after this fight on your bag, hold on. Oh, you son of a bitch. I hate that when I'm trying to cast a spell and they hit me, it just cancels it. Freaking suck. Yeah, one more. Fucking asshole! Tex doesn't really do a lot of damage. Die. Yeah, we did it. All right. Um, I just realized all the new gen touchscreen phones I've had have been Samsung, and there's nothing wrong with Samsung. Samsung phones have really evolved over the years. Like, they've really gotten better. Who would want in a fight? This girl or... Mo Mocha from Soul Eater? Mocha? Who's Mocha? <laughs> I could go for an ice Mocha, to be honest. <laughs> Who's Mocha? Are you talking about the... the the main character? What's her name? The girl that also uses a scythe, right? Shh, I forgot what her name is. I know it's not Mocha. <laughs> I'm like, who, the, who is Mocha? Nothing to it. Somebody let me try this on you. Sick. Sickable? Yeah, I believe there is something of value nearby. Shall we look for it? Okay, I need to change her skills. Hold on a second. Rockfall, Black Lotus, Cyclone, Triple Burial. Hmm. Swings a white scythe forward. Switch that out. Um, I 
I forgot. Yeah, I forgot her name. I know it starts with an M, but it's not. I know it's not Mocha. <laughs> BRB, alright. Take your time. Was it? It's Mika, right? Wasn't it Mika? I'm pretty sure it was Mika. Like I know she's voiced by Laura Bailey. Of course you would know that. <laughs> of course you would know that. Earth wall. Hmm. Of course I would. Of course. Of course. Alright, we're just gonna stick with what we have here. What we got? Neo Energy Jelly. Alright. It's a curse. I say it's a blessing. It's a door. Shall we open it? I say it's a blessing. Cause then you can use that knowledge, you know, cause if you're like once you s once you like start you know, uh studying about voice acting and you know go into the profession of voice acting and you tell these people that you know these all this info about different voice actors and their work you know it can help you it can help you get get to places you think it's a curse i think it's a blessing an enemy has been only two goals this should be little challenge you are in my way <laughs> Oh, come on! Takes me like a minute and a half to kill these things with this person, man. Can we agree it's a blessing and a curse? I guess. I mean, yeah. To you, it's a curse. To me, it's a blessing. Cause they can help you, man. I s that all that knowledge can help you. All right. I have no idea where I'm going. We don't need to go back anyway. Uh... Hmm? An enemy draws near. Command. Only two foes. Okay. This should be little challenge. I'll be your opponent. 
Going from here. An enemy has three enemies. This could prove a worthy you are in my Dive. <laughs> Let the winds rage forth. Cyclone. From heaven to earth, I get drunk. <laughs> Yay. I feel there may be a treasure chest nearby. Okay, we need a heal. Uh life can we need skill. Okay. I need to change up. Status ailments, resurrection. Stage. Shoots out numerous water globules. Every time I hear Tia Beller, I just think of happy. Happy. I saw. <laughs> and shout let's give her two attacks and then the other two would be for uh 
healing and such. Alright. I have to end here soon. It's five o'clock, so... I know we haven't gone far into this delusion. But... It's getting late, so... Let's see. Well, I just closed myself in here. I didn't know much. All right. Um. Oh. The enemy draws near. Command. Die, please. Only two enemies. This should be a quick. I'll easy. be your opponent. Die. <laughs> Let's try. Basically, didn't go anywhere here, but we got rid of some enemies. So we're gonna go back to that save point, and we're gonna end it here. So let's go back. This is the one that closes that. And closes that. Oh, well. Um, um, say what now? What's that supposed to s sounds good? But oh, okay, I'm like, what? <laughs> Got confused for a second. All right, we're gonna save here, we're gonna end it here, but we will continue. Later today, uh, if I don't stream later today, then I'll be sure to, I mean, you'll definitely see me later, I mean tomorrow night. So, we are gonna end here. Make sure I just, I don't know why I saved twice, but it's what, I, it happens. <laughs> Alright. Is this PS4 by the way? Yes, this game is a PS4 exclusive. I got this on sale on the PS4. It was on sale for like $15, so I was like, what the hell? Why not? I needed another game to uh to stream anyway, so this game looked pretty fun. Okay. Gotta be sure to save, am I right? Yeah. Always save twice, I don't know, just to make double sure that it's saved. <laughs> Alright, we are going to raid someone though, so if you guys would please stay a little bit longer while I look for someone to raid, I would really appreciate it. Oh, by the way, we still got to, uh, we still got to play... Xenoverse 2 and Jump Force Thunder Big, along with Dueling on Yu-Gi-Oh Pro. So many games, man. So many games we gotta play. Okay. Turn goes off. I mean, I still haven't used my. I think it's is it. Fourteen day trial or is it a seven day trial for PS? for a uh, PlayStation Plus. Is it two weeks or is it four is it one week? I don't I don't remember. But yeah. For so many games, streams, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah, I haven't used my trial for my for PS Plus, so I might use that and then we can actually play something together. I think it's one week. Is it one week? Now I gotta look. Hold on a second. 
PlayStation. Uh, PS4, PlayStation Plus. Start free trial. Where, how many is the free trial? How long is the free trial? Oh, it's it's fourteen days, so it's two weeks. Okay. Fourteen days is not bad for a free trial. That's not bad at all. Then one month is ten dollars, and three months is twenty-five, and twelve months is sixty. Oh boy, yeah. So yeah, we'll. I don't know. We'll. I'll start whenever we decide to uh, stream together and play games together. I'll start that fourteen-week trial, and yeah, we'll we'll get things going. All right. Oh, by the way, uh, can you underbake what? What uh what which uh Yu-Gi-Oh Pro do you have on your phone? So then I can uh download that after I end stream. Keep me posted, of course. Okay, so Sushi is streaming right now. She is playing Siege. So we will we will show him that love, of course. We'll show him that love. But yeah. Um If not now, you can uh always uh DM me on Discord telling me which Yu-Gi-Oh Pro uh program you have on your phone. Alright, so let's do this. Read that one with sushi chef. Alright. Let's show this guy some love. He was here earlier, part of a uh, Red Fox's raid. Great, great dude, awesome guy. If you like watching, if you like food and some, you know, just shenanigans all around. He he us he sometimes do cooking streams, and he usually plays uh, Siege or Division Two. So, yeah. He's playing Siege right now, so let's show him some love. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Enjoy the rest of your night. Rest well. Have a good day tomorrow. And if I stream tomorrow when I wake up, I'll see you then. If not, then you'll definitely see me tomorrow night. Alright, guys. Bye.